Welcome to this week's episode of What's New in the BAS DCC. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. We post a video every time we bring new aircraft into the hangar. This week we have an OG Cessna 210. Now this is a 1960 model, which means it's the very first original production variant of the first certified Cessna 210 model. We're gonna get a lot of goodies out of this aircraft. We're gonna get all of the gears, all of the cabin doors, the wheels, the brakes, the baggage door, the seats, control wheels, some great avionics and indicators, hydraulic components, fuel system, electrical systems, and just a ton of good OG Cessna 210 parts. We also have a Piper PA-28181 Archer II. Now this aircraft was actually in a mid-air collision, which is really uncommon for the aircraft that make it into our shop, but we're still gonna get a ton of goodies from this aircraft. We have a Lycoming O360 A4M engine. We have a Garmin GNS 430, UAvionics tail beacon, Bendix King KX155. We have the control wheels, the main gear assemblies, upper cowling, stabilator and tabs, rudder, vertical fin, tail beacon, spinner dome, cabin door, and so much more coming out of this aircraft. This next aircraft that we brought into our disassembly hangar is a Piper PA-28R200 Aero 2. Now this guy was flipped upside in a storm, a gust tornado if you will, but we're going to get a lot of good stuff out of this aircraft anyway. We have a Lycoming IO360C1C engine, a Hartzell 2HC C2YK1BF, a Garmin GTX 345, a Garmin GNC 255A, a Garmin GNS 530W, dual Garmin G5, PS Engineering PMA 8000, nose gear assembly, we got the seats, the pilot and co-pilot, as well as rear seats. We have a power pack, rudder pedals, control components, fuel system components, uh, main gear assembly, main gear doors, wheel and LED nav lights, and the left and right flaps. And last but not least, in our BAS disassembly hangar this week, we have a Piper PA-44-180 Seminole. Now this guy was a twin engine that got flipped upside down in the same gust NATO storm. And we're going to get two Lycoming O360 E1A6D engines, two Hartzell propellers, a Garmin GNS 430W, uh, the left hand aileron with a little bit of damage on it, the upper and lower cowling, spinner and bulkhead, nose gear assembly, landing gear retract components, the left and right main gear assemblies, the plane power alternator, Harold Haskins heater, nose gear doors, control wheels, rudder pedals, fuel system components, power pack, main gear doors, and so much more out of this seminal. 